Okay, you got uh, junior Cameron Beeland. It's coming off a career high 21 points at Milwaukee, and we'll open for questions for Cam. Cameron, what what is it that you know the last couple games that you felt that you know your offense is starting to come back? Uh, like during practice, it's just a comfortable like a comfortable level for me and everything. I'm just getting used to like my teammates believing in me and everything because. Before the game in Green Bay, KP told me, like, our chances of winning increase when you have a good game. So I'm just getting into the groove and everything. So, like, one time during the game in Milwaukee, I shot a three. And, like, it went in and out. But even though it went in and out, I heard my teammates on the sideline, like, count it, count it, or whatever. It's just confidence level. Cameron, how difficult from a player standpoint is it to play four of the first five league games on the road and, I mean, with the travel and everything from the player's perspective? Oh, it, it is difficult. It is difficult because you're always on the road. You get to the hotels. Uh, the downtime's not much because you get there. You have to practice to get used to the gym. Then to walk around the next day, waking up early, then heading back to the gym and get ready for the game. It's just tough doing that consecutively on, like, uh, let's say three out of four days and stuff like that. Maybe talk about even up and down this year. Is some of that just adjusting to this level or adjusting to the Horizon League? Yeah, it is, like, because I, I'm still trying to define my role on the team. And I think I'm carving that out more right now, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. What do you see as your role? Uh, <laughs> I need to score. I need to rebound. I need to just do whatever it takes, play hard from, for the team to win. And when I knock down shots, it increases the chances for it. What are you guys going to have to do to get over that, you know, that mental hump at home and just start, you know, dominating, you know, in your home court? We need to have the same mentality we do on the road. I feel like on our road is just more about us, not the crowd. And I feel like we'll, we will show that tomorrow during our game. Our focus level is way higher than what it was as far as home games. Have you been this cold before? <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> Kansas was bad last year, but not this bad. <laughs> Is that in or outside this room? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can you just talk about Wright State a little bit, what you know about them? And I mean, obviously they're, they're really playing well. Uh, I don't know too much about them, but during, like, the before like I signed, their coach actually came to my girlfriend's house to, like, talk to me and, like, recruit me and everything. Um, so far, I heard they're playing well, and they have the best record in conference. But with the playing level that everybody's at, like the conference could swing either way. If like like Detroit, like they're they rolled us, and then they end up losing to State. Yeah, they lost to Rice State, but then they lose before that too. last night. Detroit. Uh, yeah. Lost to Valpo. 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 Yeah, Valpo. That was Coach Donlin. Yeah. Coach Donald. So is there a little, um, I don't know, I mean, he recruited you. you said Yeah, I'm you excited for this game. I'm yeah. excited for this game, definitely. I mean, how, how, I mean, is there a little stuff, you have a little extra stuff? I mean, just talk about the excitement that you have for this game. Uh, this, like, I know he remembers me. I just want to make sure he remembers me, especially after this game. <laughs> Any comment on your clothes, for the record, of you the best dressed guy in the team right now? I feel like I'm the best dressed guy on campus. <laughs> <laughs>